Thank you for speaking with us. I, could you please tell the um, people of Ulster County why you've come to this country or this area? What is your message? Of course, as the elected uh, uh, political leader of the Tibetan people, uh, I have to travel to uh, many parts of the world to speak with many governments. Uh, this time I've been traveling from 1st October to uh, Brazil, to Colombia, uh, Mexico, and then I covered some of the Tibetan associations which I've not been able to cover before in North America, including North uh, Los Angeles, Santa Fe, Albuquerque, Atlanta, Charlottesville, Washington DC, New York, Connecticut. And yesterday we were in uh, uh, Amherst and today uh, we have to reach uh, Ithaca. And on the way, uh, uh, our monk friends here uh, have taken over this uh, center, the Tibetan center. In between, we were in Washington, D.C. for five year, five days. And there, uh, we have a bill for Tibet. Uh, even though we follow the middle way policy to resolve the Sino-Tibet conflict uh, in a non-violent, uh, mutually beneficial, negotiated solution that should be lasting, um, we have uh, changed our strategy a little bit in the form of uh, focusing a little more on the historical status of Tibet as an independent state. Otherwise, there's no leverage for the middle way because Chinese government keeps asking every country to say Tibet is part of PRC or People's Republic of China, which is not the true narration of Tibetan history and Chinese government is very good in distorting historical narrative. Uh, claiming that Tibet has been part of China since time immemorial, as they say. Earlier they used to say 7th century, 13th century, 18th century, they couldn't prove it. Tibet has always been an independent country. Uh, till communist China invaded Tibet, Tibet has been a free country. So now when Chinese government ask other governments to say that Tibet is part of PRC, the international community is also just parroting what the Chinese government wants them to say. So, my question is why is the Chinese government asking everywhere, every country to say Tibet is part of PRC if it has already been part of uh, China? You know, they know that they have no legitimacy of their rule over Tibet and they are trying to seek this legitimacy from the international community. So this bill, the, the Tibet Resolution Bill in the US Congress, which we are working on, is to give importance to the historical status of Tibet while we are seeking a negotiated solution with the Chinese government and also to recognize Sino-Tibet conflict as an unresolved conflict. So we have been meeting with senators and, uh, and the first day we spent in the Senate, the second day we spent in the House and you know what is going on in the House, uh, not being able to elect a speaker but uh, members were very generous to meet with us and uh, we have an uh, office of Tibet here in Washington, D.C. for the whole of North America. And Dr. Namgyel is the representative of both His Holiness Dalai Lama and the Central Tibetan Administration uh, for North America. And we also have an international campaign for Tibet, which is a non-governmental organization supporting Tibet. So they both work together to lobby with the Hill and also with the State Department. And, uh, the Biden administration, as soon as he came in, he appointed the special coordinator for Tibet, which has been there since 1997. So we met with all the stakeholders in the US government to push this bill forward. And here, if you can request your members in the House as well as the Senate to support this bill, we would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.